Hello, welcome back to the second episode of Call Java tutorial series. In the second episode, we are going to create our first program in Java. So for save the programs, here I am going to create a new folder in my desktop. So create a new folder and I name the folder as Java programs. Okay, you can use any text editor for writing Java programs. So here I am going to use the notepad for writing Java programs. So I am going to open notepad. Okay, so Java is an object oriented programming language. So everything in Java is about classes and objects. So first you have to create a class. So here I am going to write my first class. So class is a keyword. Now you have to provide a valid name for the class. I named the class as my first class. So here class is the keyword and my first class is the class name. Now you have to open brackets for the class. So I open a bracket and close it. Okay. So like C and C++ Java also need a starting point for the program. So the starting point is the main method. So now here I am going to create the main method in Java. So here is the syntax. First you have to provide the access specifier public. Second is a keyword static. Now you have to provide the return type of this method. It is void. And finally name the method. Here it is main method. So the method name is main. Now you have to open the bracket for the method. Here is the opening bracket and closing bracket of the main method. And something you have to pass some arguments to the main method. So here you have to pass a string argument is an array. Okay. So in Java string is not a data type. String is corresponding to a class. String is a class name. So it is not a data type. So the main method, you, if you write the main method, don't forget to put this argument. It's a string array. It's a collection of objects. Okay. Now you have to write the statement for printing a greeting message on the output screen. So system. This is a statement that print out a greeting message on the output screen. System is a class name. Dot out. Now you have to call the method print. Okay, now you have to write the message hello world and close the double quotes, close the bracket and put a semicolon. So the semicolon indicates the end of the statement. So this is the statement that will print out a greeting message on the output screen. So now we complete the first program in Java. It contain a class called my first class and Inside that class, we write the main method, the syntax of the main method public static void main. And don't forget to add this argument string. And this is the statement that will print out the message on the output screen. Okay, now we have to save the program. So I'm going to save the program, save us. And I save the program in my desktop. So we already create a folder called Java programs and you can save the program with any name. So here I am going to save the program, my first program, that is the file name, my first program and with extension.java that is necessary. You have to, you can save the program with any name but don't forget to add the file extension.java and select all files as save as type and click save. Now we got the new Java source file inside the folder called the Java programs in my desktop. Okay. Now this is the time to compile this program. So now I am going to compile the program. So open command prompt. Okay. First you have to change the directory into Java programs. So change directory CD. First we have to move to desktop. So CD uh, desktop 
and in the stop there is a folder called uh, Java programs. Okay, now the current directory is Java programs. Now you have to specify the file name. So our file name is our file name is my first program that is our hello world application file name so for compiling a java program you have to type the command java c and specify the file name so here the file name is my first program so java c my first program dot java okay now the compilation is success there is no error that's why there is no message because the compilation is succeed so if there is something errors are available suppose here I forget to add the semicolon and I save the program again and again I compile the program now you got an error a semicolon is missing so if you have an error it will show the error if the compilation is success there is no message there is no message displayed if the compilation is success so I put the semicolon again and save the program now compile it again so when you compile a Java program and if there is no error then the Java compiler will convert the program into Java bytecode which is a file with extension dot class here it is my first class dot class so our file name is my first program but the bytecode is my first class dot class this is because our class name is my first class that's why the compiler will convert the program into bytecode in the name of the class so in this program there is only one class is present the class name is my first class that's why the compiler will create the bytecode with the name my first class so if you want to run the program you have to run the program with the class name so here the class name is my first class so now I am going to run the program for for running a Java program you have to type the command Java and specify the class name so here the class name is my first class and there is no need to specify the file extension click enter now here we got the output hello world I hope you enjoy this video see you in the next part